What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to The Madness. Today we're going to be doing another Axe Effects tutorial. And today we're talking about the Tone Match. Now this thing's a pretty powerful tool. It does exactly what the name implies, and that is to match the tone of some other guitar tone. That could mean a recording from your friend, or it could mean the live signal from other systems, like an amplifier. Now that makes that thing pretty cool, but we'll talk about that in a minute. So let's jump right in. And just as a reminder, if you guys are getting any sort of value from these videos, slap the like and subscribe. It's free and it makes a big difference in me being able to grow this channel to do some cool stuff in the future. Appreciate it. And this is the tone that we're going to be trying to recreate here on the Axe FX. All right. All right, so now that I know that my tone is some crunchy, raunchy, just high gain tones, I'm gonna go and try to make a very basic approximation of it inside of an amp cabinet before the tone match, right? That's the first step. You have to do this, otherwise you're just expecting the tone match to do all the work, and that's not a reasonable expectation, okay? So you gotta go and find an amp that's reasonably high gain, reasonable tone you know that is approximated don't spend a whole lot of time on this just do your best in a short amount of time okay so what I've done here is I grabbed a Friedman BEV2 and you know crank the bass up scoop the mids a little bit drop the drop the treble a little bit right so this is what it sounds like <laughs> Doesn't sound that great. There's no amp or there's no cab modeling after this amp, so it sounds kind of like garbage. Now, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go in, we're gonna go and configure this thing to be using the input reference source from 7.8. Now, that's important because what we're gonna be doing is taking the recording from a DAW, we're gonna be inputting the output from the DAW into USB 7.8, that's where your USB is coming in, and then we're setting the mode to offline if you're using a recording. If not, just go live. You don't need to do this, and then you take your reference source and you put it wherever you're coming from. Now you go to capture, and now your reference is coming from Cubase. So right now I've got Cubase taking in this, this wave file, right? And it's looping through it over and over again. Now what I've got is audio connection set for my outputs. I have an output set to USB out seven and eight from the Axe Effects. You have to do this. So now that you've got the outputs on the Axe FX 7 and 8 set to a different bus, now the track input, you know, wherever you typically have an input from, and then you output it to USB 7 8. So you're taking that output, which is right now looping over and over again, you're putting it through the Axe FX tone match engine or tone match block right here. So now when you go to capture and you start both, right now, as you can see, the reference, which is the recording, is capturing the tone, basically the tone and the, the frequency content of the recording. And now you just click match, okay? Now that it's been doing that for a bit, boom. Now what does it sound like, okay? <laughs> Now you compare that to the original, which is right here. Not too shabby, right? So that's what the whole thing is doing. Now I want to do it with a different tone, right? So I'm just going to go and slap another tone uh, or slap another recording from my friend into Cubase. As you can see, I've got this new one. It's called I Like Turtles. And I'm going to go ahead and disable this. And then here, let me just give you a quick listen to what it sounds like. It's a nice chorusy kind of vibey kind of feel. Let's go ahead and uh, slap that into the tone match too. But first, as always, I have to create an, like an alternative uh, you know, baseline to the tone that I think I'm going to be replicating. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. So I'm going to go take it, go and check out the amps. 
Uh, let's go find one that's real. It says clean in the name. Let's see what this one sounds like. A little bit too, uh, a little bit too MIDI bassy. This one, deluxe verb normal. Let's drop the gain a bit. Let's increase the treble. I think that sound that's reasonable, right? So that's what we're gonna go with. Now let's uh, go ahead and take this thing in here, start to loop it. Now go back in here, start both. Let the tone match do its thang for a little bit. Do 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 do. All right, I think it's had a good minute to do it. Let's go ahead and match it. Now that that's done, let's see what it sounds like. Now let's add a chorus because it has no effects right now. Ah, uh, now let's just go ahead with a dual chorus. And one thing to note about this is it's not copying effects, it's simply copying amp. And now you can tell this isn't quite as accurate as the last one because, well, there's effects in the line for this one. So if it was just the amp, it might be a little bit better. But let's go ahead and compare the two. And also, the guitar is going to make a big difference. So obviously, the recording that it comes with already has a guitar in mind. So if you're using my guitar, it might be a little bit different. But if you're using a Gibson, a very high gain guitar like that is going to sound drastically different on any amp setup that you provide it with. So keep that in mind as well. So if it doesn't feel like it's working as well as you want it, it might be the guitar you're using, not as much as the software, right? So that is really what's going on with the with the tone match. As you can see, I kind of showed you what was going on uh, with the start reference, the start local, the start and the match, the reference solo is if you just want to solo the reference. The config, I showed you what was going on here. Right now, you know, you got the sum left and right. The modes, we can change the different uh, averaging times if you want to change that. That takes basically a different amount of uh, numbers of averages. You can like reduce the amount of time that it's taking to average those and then display it. Amount and smoothing, you can do all those. Monitoring, you can just monitor, export. You can export this, uh, this type of signal that you're copying as a different thing and then use it later on. So actually I think I'll do that. I'll just call this uh, turtles, right? And then I'll say export. Do you want to overwrite the following cab? User 11LT Brit 412? Yes. Okay, and that's what happened. So appreciate you guys taking a look. Hope you guys learned something. Hope you guys got something out of this. If you did, as always, just slap the like button, but I'll catch you all on the flippy floppy, y'all. China.